guys, Tomboy601, and today do we got a surprise for you. Three new ships have been spotted out there on the open waters testing, and we will go ahead and kind of show them off. Unfortunately, I did try to get into a game with one of them, so I had some interesting footage. Was not able to, but uh, we do have the screenshots from around the community, so uh, if I do end up using your screenshot, thank you for posting it to Facebook or Reddit. I, I really do appreciate it so I can do this reporting. But before we dive into those new ships, one other thing kind of piqued my interest this week, the Black Friday sale. I think this is the only time, uh, or this is the only Black Friday business so far in this update that's been worth purchasing. I'll go ahead and throw up the footage of what I ended up buying. Uh, the I think the highlight of this sale is definitely the insignias. Those things usually cost an arm and a leg and they are relatively sparse. So if there's something that you've been eyeing or a commander you've wanted to be upgrading, uh, I think those are the thing, those insignias are probably the biggest thing worth uh, worth going in on. Beyond that, it really is up to you in your current situation. Those 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 insignias though, at least the, the highest discount one, that's the one, that's that's right where, uh, that's that was my like, oh no, this is, we're, we're pulling out the wallet today. Anyways, the three new ships. Two tier eights, one undetermined tier, but the last time we had an undetermined tier, it was legendary. So I'm going to assume it's a legendary ship. And because, well, on PC, two of them are tier nines and one's a tier 10. So I'm assuming we're going to get one tier eight and one legendary tier. And the first one is Marlboro. That's right. A brand new British tier eight premium battleship uh marlboro is much maligned over on the pc the conceit of it fast firing 16 fast firing battleship guns the downside they're 356 millimeter at tier eight um but that's you know that would that would be normal that'd be okay because like oh cool 16 356s at at a kind of high tier you're gonna have to really know your 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 positioning and all that. That could be cool. The downsides uh, for this DPM is actually fairly low um, uh, damage per individual shell, terrible terrible accuracy, and a hugely exposed citadel. At least over on PC, we'll have to see how she comes here. But uh, 16356s that has me that has me smiling. You know. Uh, that, that has me thinking we could have some fun with her. Uh, she also gets 89 millimeters of HE pen, uh, over on PC with, with, with her gun. So l I'm excited to see this ship come. Uh, her other kind of big thing is she's pretty much coded in 32 millimeters. So HE spam is, uh, fairly easy to do to her. And also she doesn't have as good of a heal as the normal British ship. So, that's Marlboro in a kind of condensed form. I'm interested to see. I'm I'm excited because we have seen that our devs are willing to kind of go a little bit different than the way that ships come to PC, but we will just have to wait and see. The next ship that is a tier eight battleship coming to the game, Marco Polo, another premium tier eight or nine, tier nine over on PC. It's coming to our game as a tier eight. What's the deal with Marco Polo? Um, well, and this is kind of going to be kind of weird because the PC Italian line is very different than our current line. The PC Italian line, remember, they all have SAP primary shells instead of HE, uh, and they don't have SAP secondaries, and we kind of have a very different build. Marco Polo, think of her as a Roma or a Veneto uh, sort of battleship, but with 16-inch guns. Um, but in order to get those 16-inch guns, she gives up her smoke screen, the thing that makes the the tier eights unique or the the Italian lines unique, which is unfortunate. Beyond that, I'm 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 hesitant to see how Marco Polo ultimately ends up. Um, you know, we did have that small test with the SAP shells in on Dante Alighieri um, with the Black Friday version. If this ship came with SAP shells, I think it would be a little bit more interesting. But as it stands, if it's more of a port of the PC version of it's going to be an Italian battleship without smoke and 16-inch guns in a two turrets up front, one turret in the rear sort of layout, 
I'm not too excited for this one. It feels just like a normal battleship without the fun quirks and features that make the Italian battleships so special. And that's kind of what I want out of a premium. I want something that's unique, that's different. And it has 16 inch shells and it's a tier higher. Not, not really that sort of quirk or feature that I'm looking for in a, in a premium ship. The final ship that has been spotted out testing on the open waters is Yoshino. What is Yoshino? Um, well, it's a Zuma, but better. It's it's a it's a it's a it's going to be in our game a legendary tier over on PC at tier ten, uh, basically in a Zuma, but better. Um, it does have weaker AP, but pretty much all of its other stats are just a Zuma, but better. So if you enjoyed a Zuma, hopefully. This is the Azuma that we've come to know and love in these last updates. Um, you know, the one that is actually a contender against things, as, as opposed to what Azuma once was. Hopefully it's the buffed Azuma that they're kind of basing these upgrades off of, because I would love a, a legendary tier of that. It will have to be significantly more powerful, just because, well, our Azuma, tier 7, PC Azuma is tier 9, which would be tier 8 in our game, so... Uh, that's that's the one thing that I'm that I'm interested to see. I think one it will be great because if you recall, uh, Azuma and Alaska are kind of two sides of a yin and yang. They were designed kind of to counter each other. Or Azuma came and Alaska was designed to counter her. So it would be nice to have uh, an Alaska and a Azuma class in this case Yoshino kind of facing off against each other and see that in game. That's that's what I'm sort of excited for in a historical basis, but we will just have to wait and see. And guys, those are the three new ships. Um, which one are you most excited for? Personally, I'm I'm most my interest is most piqued by Marlboro. Uh, Marlboro looks like the the kind of fun boat where if they do it right, it could just be a lull fest. Uh, but we will just have to wait and see. And guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.